friends, thank you for watching this video and many thanks for visiting this channel. Today I'm going to share the whole week of living in the Netherlands, the whole week of our family, of what we are doing, how our days look like. And uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've been on the channel, but it's spring and I have a lot of inspiration to film again and to share with you. Good morning and this is Monday. And um, on Monday I work from home, so I still have um, some opportunity to take extra care of myself on Monday morning to get into this week smoothly. This week is going to be busy and it's going to be interesting. And after the kids go to school, I have my little Monday morning routine which always start from the glass with warm water, with ginger and lemon and chlorophyll. And it helps me to wake up and cleanse my body and to start this day just in the way I love. Um, so after I make my bed, I do some yoga stretch. I always try to do even 15 or 20 minute yoga a day. And I start my day with Surya Namaskar which is greeting to sun and sometimes I do the variation like today or I can just do simple three rounds of that and I already feel better, I feel prepared for the working day, for sitting in front of the computer, for doing my work and I'm going to work the half day today and still there is a lot of sitting and I just wake up my body and get it happy and prepared for the day. I also wanted to share with you those slippers. So this is my new slippers from Sarah Home and they're super nice and super soft. So if you're looking for something elegant but still cozy, I definitely recommend you these slippers. I got them from the Proma from the sales and it was around 8 euros I think at the sale. Uh, but I'm sure they have different models like this. They are very light. It's not hot in them, but I am the slippers girl. So I have several of them and these are my favorite for the spring. And it's time for breakfast. And I like the sticks. Uh, thus, these are veggie sticks. I fry them on the pan from both sides. I don't use any oil. They are not sticky. And I also add some hummus on my bread and I put those sticks and then I can add some sauce or I can put some peas or corn. Today I have um, the cucumber and olives are also good here and, and this is my breakfast for today. And I especially like to make it when I go to the office. So tomorrow I will go to the office and I will make it early in the morning. So at 7 a.m. And when I have this at 7 a.m. I feel pretty happy and full till 11 or even 12. And uh, this is how the perfect Monday looks like. And this is my tea. I really like to have a big cup a big mug, right, for my breakfast of a hot black tea. And I have lots of variations of that tea. Because, uh, guys, okay, I'm Russian, right? Russian people like black tea for basically everything, for their breakfast especially. And, um, yeah, and I have some desserts here. These are dried pineapples and this is the gluten-free cake. You can probably hear something in my voice, um, I was sick um, and it was not, I don't know, I did the test but it didn't show that was the fancy COVID thing, but that was such a hard <laughs> flu, I don't know, maybe it was COVID again, mm, I have already had three of them, but well, anyway, I felt terrible and I was sick two weeks ago, but I still have something in my voice. I still have something in my nose. So yeah, it's getting back. I'm getting back and recovering slowly. Um, but I don't have that much time to sit here and talk. Um, I should go upstairs soon and I should start my day. And uh, I should start my working day. 
I usually work four hours a day when I work from home and this is what is signed up in my contract and uh, full days are in the office so I have eight hours in the office when I go there and, and of course uh, while this busy days at home I sometimes work in the evening to finish stuff which I don't have time to do during the day because today I also have to go to the shop I have to pick up the kids from school and go to the swimming pool and uh, to cook something right so it's always busy when I'm at home it seems to be nice and relaxing but in reality the days are very busy and um, now I'm drinking my tea and I'm drinking my <clears throat> snacks and I also enjoy my favorite YouTuber who is Jonna Jinton. She lives in Sweden and I've been watching her for a long, long time, for five years I think I watch her. And just leave a comment if you know her and if you are watching her as well. It would be nice to discuss with you her creation and her videos because I'm a big fan of her channel. It's Tuesday, which means that I'm working from the office and I'm in Utrecht and look what beautiful buildings are here and I'm actually hiding a little bit in this little street from the traffic in order to be able to talk and to speak to you guys and what I want to say is that hmm, I've been working in this company for more than a year already and uh, for those experts who are looking for a job in the Netherlands and exploring the market, I want to say that there are two main important things to think about. The first thing is that all, all employers, they have their bonuses and depending on your position, depending on your skills. But one bonus that you should consider as obligatory bonus to your compensation, to your salary, is the transportation bonus. Because transportation, <laughs> let me go here, <laughs> because transportation here is, oh well, transportation here is pretty expensive. So um, it cost me from Almere to Utrecht back uh, trip here. I mean, when I go to work and then when I go back, it's around 35 euros to w both ways. So it's expensive. And uh, you should also consider if your employer will give you the bonus for transportation. I have that bonus. I'm very happy for that. So when I come to work, it's not <laughs> too much for me. I don't actually pay for that. And another thing is that what I'm very happy about is that in the Netherlands, there's the majority of people work part time. And even when you are searching for a job and you see full time, it means that you can negotiate part-time. That's what happened to me when I was searching for this job uh, for the company I'm working for right now. It was mentioned that they needed a person for full-time. But I just give it a shot. But I just decided to give it a shot because I knew that it's not obligatory. And I negotiated part-time um, for me, part-time conditions for me which I'm very happy with because I'm a mom and I have to be at home for some time and we are doing we're working with Mitri like 50 50 like some days he's at home some days I'm at home and we're splitting the whole responsibility set between us but yeah well generally people from other countries they get surprised that here in the Netherlands majority of people work part-time but this is a great thing. This is really the work-life balance we went for when we planned to move here. So yeah, uh, so all these nice people <laughs> who were caught on my camera today, they probably work part-time, who knows?
and this is Thursday already. We've made this week almost to the end. Um, so yeah, um, there is another thing which we should take care of when each of us is at home and this is about taking our kids taking the girls to their um, sport classes and today Olivia has the swimming pool and um, it's my turn and it's my day to take her to the swimming pool and I'm with the Ava actually Ava is back there uh, at the playground waiting for me to film for you and uh, if you are not Dutch <laughs> you probably don't know that Swimming classes are obligatory here in the Netherlands and there are three diplomas A, B and C, A, B and C and um, Eva, there she is, <laughs> Eva has already her diploma passed and it took us around one year and a half for her to complete the diploma. She swims really really well and now it's Olivia's turn and um, yeah, uh, usually we sit in a cafe but today the weather is wonderful, it's the beginning of March. Finally, we have several sunny days in a row and it's just amazing to be outside. And tomorrow we have a ballet class and Dmitri, he takes um, Ava to her class of the hockey on the grass. So it's always makes us a bit busy. So these classes, they always put extra effort for us, but and as far as I'm not driving, so yet I want to learn to drive actually here because I believe I will be able to drive at least in Almira. Um, I take them by bus, sometimes by bike. And it's, of course, it's always an extra effort because it takes usually three hours back here and then but yeah however we are very happy that the kids are doing sport and um, yeah now we are going to pick up olivia from her class to get some potato there because it's our little ritual and to go back home to cook dinner and get ready for friday and while we are walking around the swimming pool we just noticed that this neighborhood they have this music patterns or how do you say this music sentences on the buildings yeah it looks really really cool and it's just not so much effort however it gives such a unique touch to this neighborhood interesting i also bought today some uh, products and um, now i'm going to cook and this is all I bought and I usually go to Deca, but we also sometimes go to Albehein. And uh, today is 52 euros for everything, almost 53. Uh, however, I also like to buy products like this, which I know I will use today. I will use these bananas for smoothie and that's only one euro for this amount of bananas. And also we always have two sets of some products. For example, we have vegan cheese for me and Olivia and just cheese for Dima and Ava because Olivia and I, we don't tolerate milk. And the same thing goes for bread, then some regular bread and some gluten-free bread because we, Olivia and I, we don't tolerate bread. And uh, I bought some frozen berries and frozen mango that goes for smoothie and I'm going to make one right now to have a little break and just to relax a bit and kids love smoothies as well that's a perfect snack super fast and super nutritious and I also like for my smoothie I like to add this protein I especially like because it is a pea protein I don't really like to use a lot of soya products and because soya is allergic as well uh, but there are a lot of vegan substitutes which are made and based on soya so it's really hard to escape soya completely when you're on a vegan diet or semi-vegan like us but this protein is very nice and um, it's finishing and i'm going to order more 
for sure because I like it kids like it and it's we use it every day we have smooth every day and yeah I like this protein The kids are having their screen time. There are 30 minutes of screen time, which means I have my 15 minutes of me time. I also got myself that smoothie, which is absolutely gorgeous. And um, I'm in the backyard and it's the beginning of March. And it's literally the first week of March. And I think it is the earliest time when I was outside drinking my smoothie, laying on my sofa. Yeah, we have this arm um, thing that you can lay down and um, basically I enjoy it mostly laying a little bit at the end of the day. Yeah, just relax. And I especially love Thursday because this is my last working day of the week. And um, basically my weekend is starting right now. Another thing is that I have to do a lot at home. I mean that I have to cook, I have to clean, I have to support Dmitri because he's spending Tuesday and Wednesday with kids. Now we are planning the best show for them. Uh, so this is that like after school activity for them so that these people, they pick up the kids from school, they bring them to the activity location and they just spend time with them. Basically, uh, so it's like after school hours, but they are not happening at school. For example, when I was a child, when I was a kid, when I was at school, all these after school activities that happened directly at school. So the school took care of that, but here it's another outlet, so it's another company taking care of that. And um, yeah, so when I'm back home, <laughs> I call it I'm back home, uh, when I'm back home after office hours on Wednesday and Tuesday, I have to take care of the house, of course, more. I have to clean, I have to cook, I have to uh, make the laundry. Of course, Dmitri is doing a lot of this too, but during these busy days, like uh, like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, also he's um, at the office today and sometimes he's at the office on Wednesday. So the kids are picked up by the best, so people. Yeah, it's just the house is a mess. <laughs> and yeah, so on the one hand, I like Thursday because basically my weekend is starting right now. Um, also, I have a sports tomorrow and we plan to go together, so we hope that kids will be okay and we are able to go together to our yoga class. But if not, I will go by myself. And um, also there are some amazing activities this weekend. And I'm, look and I'm really looking forward to this. And I genuinely love Thursdays because, yeah, my weekend is starting right now. Я видео снимаю. Добрый день, уважаемые подписчики моего канала. Доехал? Доехал. Купил продукты. Продукты еще? Да, вот. Чудо. О, еще еда. И тут. И тут еда. И тут еда. Классно. Да. Ну ладно, заходи тогда. Friday and we have a guest. There is a Mr. Duck in our backyard. 
We don't know how did he get here. Probably he just oh, oh. flying away. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Duck. <laughs> yeah, he's yes, yes. sitting on the fence. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are all the perks of living in the Netherlands. There are two ducks, actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is how we are starting our Friday from really positive vibes with Mr. Duck. <laughs> and his friend, probably. There are two of them. Okay. <laughs> So we are back from the market and let's have a quick look what we are buying at the market usually. We are always going out from the market with the fish. There is the fish for Dima and there are prawns and mussels for me. Also I do really like the hummus, the tomato sauce, halloumi, also the mix of olives with knoflauk, how do you say it? Garlic. garlic. With garlic. Yeah. Also we have a gluten-free bakery and I buy gluten-free bread and also gluten-free um, cookies and muffins and we also like this thing. Is it fudge or can you drop me in the comments how do you call this? This is the fudge I think. So we like it with our tea and I especially like dried fruit like apricots and thus these are dried pineapple. And these snacks are super cool and we also like berries and some vine and also the flowers and today is the women's day especially nice to have them in the house and I really like Friday for this delicious food time to eat and of course buying flowers is one of those habits which I acquired living in the Netherlands because there are wonderful flowers and plants all year round here so you can basically uh, each month find something really really beautiful and uh, today I've shown those two types of flowers tulips and these white flowers I'm not sure how are they called um, but I chose the tulips but I chose the tulips because it's also the symbol of the 8th of March in my head I chose them for the bedroom and I'm trimming them right now because I like when they are placed into low vase so that it's not too high. I'm not... Yeah, I just feel like this today. And also I'm going to trim those white flowers to also fit them in a lower vase. Vase or vase? Base, I think, or vase. <laughs> in, into, uh, into smaller pot. It's Saturday and I'm on the train uh, after the concert of one of my favorite singers and I'm so inspired, I'm so happy, I'm so grateful to Dmitri for giving me this ticket as a present for the Women's Day. And this singer, he's so professional, he's so great in what he's doing and his team as well. So yeah, that's a fantastic evening. It's Saturday, it's almost Sunday. It's almost my birthday. Um, just simply happy, happy and I'm just sharing a couple of um, footage, <laughs> a couple of videos that I took, um, they're allowed.